Greetings to all of you and God bless you today. Hope everybody's doing well. Folks, I'm going to keep saying it every time I come on here. Jesus is coming and Jesus is coming one day very, very, very soon. Folks, like I said yesterday on my video, if you thought 2023 was a crazy year, buckle up for 2024. And here we are, just the second day of 2024, and things are heating up, and there is a major escalation unfolding as we speak. This is just in from the Jerusalem Post. Recent article titled, Israel prepares for heavy response following Hezbollah threats. Part of the article here goes on to say, police in Israel raised the level of alert on Tuesday today following the assassination. Did you hear about this, folks? The assassination of Sally al Aurore, if I'm saying that right, the deputy head of the political borough of Hamas in Beirut. This just occurred in Beirut, according to Israeli media sources. Officers have been instructed to prepare for heavy rockets as well as infiltrations into Israeli territory and a just response team's operational hours following threats from Hezbollah. Folks, this is a game changer. You know, I was at work today and I was getting alerts on my Telegram. If you don't have Telegram, I will put my Telegram channel link in the description box below. Uh, please, it's free. Sign up for it. Uh, I post a lot more on there because I don't have time to do videos all day. Um, but also I have a lot of sources I follow on there that I believe are reliable sources posting on what's going on all over the world. But my alerts today on Telegram were going off the charts talking about this assassination that just occurred and what this is possibly leading to a major escalation in the coming hours and days. I'll read to you a couple of the alerts I got from my sources. One of them, the Israeli army is locking down multiple roads in northern Israel. The Israeli police has been asked to be prepared for a huge response. Another one, multiple Israeli news commentators are saying a broader war is imminent. We should be ready now. And another one, the IDF for Israeli Defense Forces is forcefully asking or striking Hezbollah targets in southern Lebanon from the ground and from the air. The skies of northern Israel are very loud. That's just a small percentage of the alert I was getting today, but we have a major escalation unfolding right now because of what just happened with this, one of the leaders of Hamas being assassinated in Beirut. We know Hezbollah currently has over 150,000 missiles pointed at Israel. And we know the other surrounding enemies of Israel are throwing their threats. So folks, a major escalation is unfolding right now. Let's continue to watch and wait and see how this all unfolds. But this could lead to something major uh, in biblical proportions. I'm going to try to keep up with it on Telegram. So again, my Telegram channel will be in the description box below. Please be a part of that. Again, it's free. I can just post a more, lot more on there. But amazing things are happening right now. And it just proves that the Bible is real. The Bible is alive. That Jesus is real. Jesus is alive. And Jesus is coming back. And he's coming back one day very, very, very soon. And if you're watching this video right now and you don't have Jesus Christ in your life, just look around the world right now at everything occurring and look at what the Bible says. Again, you'll see several things are true. The Bible is real. The Bible is alive. Jesus is real. Jesus is alive. And Jesus is coming back. And he's coming back one day very, very, very soon. This current world order, it is sinking and it is sinking fast just like the Titanic. You need to get on the light boat right here and right now. That light boat is Jesus Christ in him alone. I'm not telling you to get religious. I'm telling you, you can be saved right here, right now, as you're watching this video. Now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. What do you have to do to be saved? Believe. Believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. The sin that, that you can never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross. So you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. So believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. And do it now because tomorrow is not promised.
But the reality is, heaven and hell are very real. They're real literal places, and you will spend an eternity in one of those destinations. Hell's a horrific place. Eternal torment, eternal separation from God. I don't want you to go there. Jesus does not want you to go there. But if you die without Jesus, you will be separated from God for eternity in hell. And I am going to tell you the truth because I love you. Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven and the only name that can save you. So I'm begging you, put your faith and your trust in his blood right now. Believe Jesus Christ died for you. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. And do it now because tomorrow was not promised. And make no mistake about it, Jesus is coming. And he's coming one day very, very, very soon. Keep looking up, keep watching with me, and God bless you all.